prepare yourselves from the last time you hit it? Do you think you've improved? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Mm. A lot. A lot, a lot more confident as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, my stomach hurt an awful long. <laughs> um, just confidence and like, just like the feel of the music, like how we're playing it. Mm. Like, yeah. See, I don't get that. I just hit everything. <laughs> yeah, we're well, the drummer. Life yeah. with the drummer. Is yeah. Job birding. Life with the drummer. Sleep. Hit. Sleep. Eat. Hit. Eat. But it doesn't even eat. <laughs> Why then? Why this? <laughs> so before you guys go on, you know, go on stage, is there any way that you prepare yourselves for? Usually we just run through like a song, like the song that we're least certain on. Mm. We'll, we'll run through a song, go to the toilet, <laughs> <laughs> get a drink, and then we, and then we go on. Trip. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you not have any like lucky charms or anything like that? Not really. I usually wear my wristband. I usually bring the fez, but... And I use, it. like, the pink pick. I always use, like, one pick until it breaks. I never get, like, another one. Really? That's just I don't have any backups. That's just OCD. I think I have it, yeah. Here it is. It's worth oh, that's a That's the yellow one. Oh, you only have one that. pick. Oh, this is my yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I and only this use... Is, I only use that one. He's got every colour of the rainbow. Until I break it, and then I use a different one. No, no, no. It's pretty cool. Resourceful. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think, um... If you have any support from, like... Fans or family, would you say? Family, definitely. Yeah. Because like without them, we couldn't get to the gigs. We wouldn't have been able to get the, get to the gig in Warrington ages ago, and that was a three-hour journey. And um, it was actually I uh, my dad that arranged <laughs> that arranged a gig in Liverpool as well, which got us like a bigger mm. audience. Yeah. And my dad knows. My dad's quite. He's not really good friends, but he, he knows the guy that owns DBs and Red Lion. Oh, so do I, because I work for him and work experience, which is really cool. <laughs> it's a bit of a step up there as well, isn't it? Mm. It's pretty cool. So how can your fans, like, you know, you write music, how can fans access it? You've got a Facebook? Yeah. yeah. Um, on Facebook. We've got a Facebook, but I think at some point we're going to, like, uh, just, like, make some sort of thing just for the music, so, like, Reverb Nation or something. Yeah. Like a YouTube, well, we've already got a YouTube account, <gasps> but uh, <laughs> we haven't had some party videos up yet, which is what we need to do. Yeah, I mean, we've got the ones someone else did for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. favourite, but that's it. Yeah. How would you like, um, how do you feel that you've progressed since last time? Do you think you've progressed a lot, or...? Yeah, we've got more of our own stuff. We, I think I've sort of developed a bit as a vocalist. I mean, I don't usually scream. But I'm getting there, <laughs> and I, I, I do it without even realising, sometimes. Yeah. Um, well, oh. I've, um, I've sort of changed my playing style from just straight up, no, 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 to like sort of making it a bit crazier, like adding in like little bits and stuff. Mm. Make, it, make a song my own sort of thing. Again, I just hit everything. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys been listening to any new music recently? Um, Rise Against. Yeah, Rise Against. Listen to them a lot lately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we're, <laughs> yeah. we're getting a new guitarist. Well, he's in the band now, but we didn't want to throw him in the deep end because oh, I yeah. just joined. He's got an afro. So, uh, um, he has, yeah. Um, yeah, now we can do like a lot more <laughs> Rise Against because now we have two guitars. And <coughs> a lot more Foo Fighters. So, yeah, a lot more everything, really. Yeah. So, um. Tell me, who've uh, influenced you to start and all that? God. Green um, Day. eBay. <laughs> green Day. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, Green Day kind of. I, mean, I, I didn't really listen to a lot of music in year seven, but in year eight, I started to try and want to learn guitar. I mean, I wanted to for ages, but my mum and dad was like, no, no, it's too noisy. Like, it's guitar, it's got, I can turn it down. And then put, um, in year eight, my guitar teacher used to put on this thing called like, Guitar Club. We go after school, and that's where I met Birdie. He was like, hi, I'm Elliot Bird. What's your name? I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. And we played a couple of songs together, a couple of Blink songs, and eventually I just asked him, like, oh, do you want to win But um, I've, had, I've had influences all over the place, really. Just bands, people I know. 
For me, like a lot of bands like Motorhead as well, like the original bands, like sort of inspired me to start playing music. Because I had sort of. Where would you say would be a dream venue then? And then who would you want to watch <laughs> Wembley. Nah, Milton no. Keynes Bowl. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, Milton Keynes Bowl definitely. That'll be great. And then who would you who who would you want for us to watch it then? I'd say Foo Fighters. Yeah. If I was gonna say someone. Because you know what Dave would be like. Yeah. Because he's very. I mean, Dave's the nicest guy in rock. Yeah. No, Timber Kilrock. <laughs> Timber Kilrock and Dave. Oh. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you guys been to any gigs recently? Been in Lost this guy. No. The last one I went to is the. Um, Fancy dress, amplifier. Oh yeah, uh, that, that yeah. was yeah, so that fun. That was no, great. No big. We should have a Christmas one like that. Fancy dress Christmas. Oh, no. There'd just be a giant mosh pit. I, I, Santa could, I could come as Santa. <laughs> I'd, I'd, be, I'd be the drumming Santa. I'll be an elf. Or a snowman. <laughs> yeah. I could be a tree. If I went as an elf, that'd be hilarious. I could be a Christmas tree. A six foot two elf. <laughs> the elf. Yeah, yeah, the elf. Anything else? Oh. Been great interviewing you guys. Mm.